this is a nice radius here, but you can actually go with a much rounder uh, corners on that, and you can match them there. I'm going to go somewhere in between. I like the 10, eh, maybe the 15. Okay, and you can actually go in there with more radiuses and specify it. Uh, the border, uh, let's say one pixel border, and it's taking the color for the border, the default, out of our initial color palette. Uh, the shadow, I think, is okay the way it is. Now, the transparency has to do with the background color. Right now, it's showing no transparency, which means we have white down here. If we wanted to see through the uh, non-text uh, parts and have the background show up, we could. Um, that's set in the transparency. And the fill color, like I said, it's coming from our initial palette. Uh, we could change it. Um, and this is the fill color for the sheet. I'm going to go ahead and leave it with white and leave the transparency. I think that's a nice look. Okay, we're going to the head. Now, right now, the head has uh, an interesting graphic going on. And you can pick one of these graphics here. And it's got some photos or anything. Or you can use your own from your own computer, which is pretty cool. Now, I don't have a specific header that I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and use cloud design because I'm going to put this out as a generic uh, header. Now, since I'm not going to do that and I can set the, uh, the height of the uh, header here, I'm going to go ahead and set it for a short one. And the reason is, um, as a general rule, when you're creating a blog or a website, you really do want uh, your primary content above the fold so that people don't have to scroll down to look at it. Uh, that's very, very important, uh, it's sort of like in news, you know, that the term came above the fold comes from uh, the newspaper world, where, where the paper was folded, you, big stories were above the fold. Now you can also set the height of the text block, if you want a text block on, only to go to a certain amount and then leave room for the graphic on the white. On the right, you can do that. Uh, for purposes of what we're doing, I'm not going, I don't need that, but I'm going to go ahead and say 50-50, and the reason Ah, and that pushes my graphic over. Let me put back to zero. I forgot what that did. Ha, see? Real time. I'm not faking it. <laughs> um, here's the effects. You can see we have some effect of a shadow of an image. Uh, let's see, glare. I'm trying to figure out what, where were those pictures, where those people came from. It looks like it must be, yes, we have people, walking people. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave that alone, and I'm going to go ahead and use a globe kind of a look. I don't need people there. Yeah, that's kind of a nice one. All right. Now, you can actually add photos. So if you have a logo that you want to put on top of uh, this file, you can actually add that. Then you can put no photo. You can pick one of the many, many uh, people and things that they have in their design. But since I'm going to put this, this uh, theme out there for anybody to use that wants to, I'm not going to put a photo. <laughs> Um, I am going to put my blog headline, which will be replaced by the software. Um, this is just for position. And uh, what is the one I'm going to do? Uh, yard sale. I'm going to look really quick. All right. Oops. There we go. It's Yard Sale Central. Ha. Huh. Here we go. Okay, and this is for tips on how to shop great deals. Yard sales. Okay. And it's updated that. Now we can actually adjust the fonts. Uh, we can adjust the position. Um, you can drag it around and have it have it appear. And you can also uh, Size it up, or you can use the align tool and say, I want it to be left at the center there, and you can size it this way. I really like using the size tool on the position. Now, in this case, uh, you know, this is default graphics in here. I think we have a really nice color theme. In fact, this is not a very good graphic for that. I think we need an ocean, don't you? Let's see if there's an ocean in there because those colors are very springy, but more like something like a seashore. Let's see what we got. Maybe not. All right. Well, I was hoping I had an ocean in here. Uh, there's some water scenes and let's see, is this a lake? Nope. That's a mountain. And, and actually on this, I believe we can position this. So I can go here. We go. Okay. 
Let me get the right part of the graphic that I went in there. And now this no longer works. Okay, well, instead of screwing around with this all day, since it really is not a specific uh, graphic that I need, I'll put that one in there. All right, that works for me. And now this kind of doesn't go very well. We have this nice water look. Um, anyway, the designer in me wants me to tweak with this all day long. And the person in me who's making a video thinks that would be a dumb idea. <laughs> so let's go to the menu. Now, there, like, there are, this is the suggest menu ideas, and it will pop in a whole bunch of different ideas as we go. Or you can just go, ah, uh, let's see, I like uh, little tabs or different shapes, uh, different shapes in there, that's kind of nice. Um, or a very corporate -y looking one would be a metal look kind of a tab. I don't think this goes with the rest of the feel with this. Designer and me talking again, like I said. Uh, rounded tabs, and it bleeds down into the bottom, and when you mouse over, it's already picking colors and everything. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, you can further color it. You can say on the, item, the sub items, rather than having the fill be that green, I want that fill to be this blue. So, when you mouse over, it's changed colors on the on the passive, and then you can change it on the on the on the hover as well. Um, really lets you customize that. You can also, in fact, on all of these, say on the menu. This is the menu bar. That's the background. Uh, this is the menu item. That's what we're seeing here. And then these were the sub items, which are these guys. So, but you can actually change the text. So you didn't like, ah, oh, that's not me. Is that not heavy enough? So you can go in there and say, I want the style to be bold. And did I select that? And I want the size to be, say, 14. It's not changing, and I really think this is a glitch in the Mac version because it doesn't happen on Windows. It is bold and it is bigger. I just didn't wait for it to get caught up. Ha! Huh. All right. Um, now we'll go into the next section. We've got the menu done. Articles. Uh, this is an article. Now an article can be a blog post and it can be a page. If it's a page, Artist here by default will not show the, the date and time, the author, and the edit button. I kind of like the edit button. Um, and, and the edit button will actually be there. Uh, for pages, that disappears. And for posts, it will always be there. So that you have this is the, uh, the header of the article, and this is the footer of the article. And so you can format that, whether you want it to have uh, a header layout, whether you want it to have no blocks, like it currently does, have an outline about around the header or have an outline uh, box around the the, uh, the meta block on the on the header uh, or an out you know shading behind the entire thing I am a meta block data with the shading or none I like this in there you can actually also turn off the icons if you don't want the icon on something you can turn it off um, and in that case because of the way the date is being displayed uh, you definitely uh, would want to modify how the date is. Let's go ahead and turn the icon color back to that. And let's go back with the, I didn't like that one little icon. Let's just do a regular little uh, calendar and it's, it should show the date um, in there. And it's not going to display that right now because we're not looking at an actual date. Same with the footer. You can turn off the tags and the comments. Um, I almost always turn the border on the photo to off because if I put something that is the same color to the background and I want it to look like it's floating, I don't want a border on the edge. You can actually also, for preview purposes, put in a different graphic. Um, this graphic really has nothing to do with uh, your eventual style because it's just part of a, a temporary graphic. So it's just something fun, makes it easy to do. Of course, you have design article suggestions, and then you also have styling, uh, whether you want rounded edges, whether you want to have a border and a background, how far you want the margin to be from everything else. So it's at 7, say we put 15, and that pops in. Everything's going to be further away from the edge. And that, that's actually okay. I kind of like that. Um, and then the text padding is how far everything is from the edge of the, of the box we have here. And I'm going to change that to 12. Or was it already at 12? I wasn't paying attention. Padding. Ah, let's try Let's try it at 7. Let's make it smaller so we can see a difference. Okay, so it's closer to the edge now. I think 12 was better, definitely. In this case, we don't want it looking like it's bumping into the edges. 